Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Our class today is going to be internet shopping and digital couponing. If you haven't been in one of my classes before, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, Georgia, the Harlem Library, which is the main one that we're doing for today, and the Uchi Creek now Grovetown Library because we have a new building. Yay. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. And like I said, our class we're going to be doing today is internet shopping and digital couponing. So we'll talk about getting great deals online, keeping yourself safe and everything when you're buying stuff, and also we'll talk about some digital apps as well. So before we get started, we welcome everybody kind of into the classroom and stuff. Big one I always start off with is feel free to kind of post any questions or comments that you have into the the chat there and I'll get to I'll definitely answer them. I'll get to the, all your questions and stuff. <laughs> so feel free to post them there. Um, that is one benefit. Of course, you may be watching this pre-recorded, which is great. But if you do come to one of our live classes, then you can ask questions, of course, online. And I'm here to answer any questions that you have as well. So, excuse me. While everybody's kind of coming into the class and stuff, I'll go ahead to our next part. Next part is talking about what classes we have going on for the rest of the month. Yay. So yesterday we did, let's talk about Libby, our getting free eBooks and free digital audiobooks. So that video is still up and available here on our YouTube channel. And of course this morning we're doing an internet shopping and digital couponing. Yay. And then this afternoon we're going to be doing our an updated class for of course the month this year <laughs> for the month of November. We'll do the class again in December as well holiday get gadgets and gift ideas so basically the idea is that maybe you take a class like this learn about internet shopping digital couponing and then uh, take the holiday gifts uh, holiday gadget and gift ideas if I can even say it right class and then you'll know what products you're kind of looking for what are kind of the hot items this year we'll even be talking about some of the gaming consoles because there's a whole bunch of those with funny different names we'll talk about we'll explain that a little bit and then tomorrow we're going to be doing our Raspberry Pi computer projects with me Alex live of course you'll get to see what my project is wiring it together and everything with our Raspberry Pi and then tomorrow afternoon we're going to be doing internet safety and security so come join me for that uh, further in the month we're actually going to be doing some Thanksgiving Day themed classes so come for that uh, we'll be doing a photography printing and virtual scrapbooking class the idea of that I thought was interesting to have that in November because of course it kind of goes along with the rest of our photography series of classes which we'll be doing again but thought about having that one separate because you may be thinking about like a gift for somebody for the holidays and getting one of the um, photo books printed now getting it printed it definitely would come back in time for the holidays so now would be a good time to do that of course next week I'll also be doing gadget health live on Facebook live on the Harlem libraries uh, live Facebook uh, so and then also we have some really fun Thanksgiving Day uh, themed projects as well let's draw an animated turkey which will be fun <laughs> in scratch and then scratch let's make a turkey a feather catch game okay and also we'll be doing an app swap which means I'll talk about all kinds of apps that I use daily and then of course you can come and talk about some of the um, apps that you like as well so we're kind of swapping ideas so and then we'll finish up by doing some the scratch a little bit more holiday gadgets and gifts on the 19th and then we'll finish up of course uh, we'll finish up for the month on the 26th. Well, we won't finish up on the 26th. We'll finish up on the 25th. <laughs> and then, just to remind everybody, Thanksgiving is on the 26th. We will not be having virtual Thanksgiving. Oh, I know. <laughs> we could do something like that. That would be funny. All right, just a little side note. If you are looking for your audiobooks, uh, free audiobooks, free digital books, 
Uh, they have switched over from RB Digital to Libby. Libby is our new app. Okay. Uh, the big thing with this is we had a whole class yesterday about this. So I encourage you to go to the of course our YouTube channel and the watch the Let's Learn About Libby class. We'll learn all about that. But the biggest one is uh, people say, well, how do I get it installed? Well, you download it from the App Store. You search, uh, you don't search Harlem Library, you don't search Grovetown Library, you don't search Columbia County Library or anything. You just search Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System and then choose where it says Georgia Download Destinations. Input your library card and it will pull right up. Okay. Um, and then you're good to go. Let you know our, limited, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside holds pickup is available and you can go to gchrl.org for details on that. Um, of course you can call into the library with questions Monday through Friday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And right now we're having a subscribe drive. So if we can get 100 people to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we can actually get our own customized YouTube address. Okay. Or search for our YouTube channel on GCHRL videos and it'll pull right up. Sorry, I had to step out and grab something real quick. My mouse needed a new battery. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, what I, my plan is this: I'm actually going to not only um, cover what we're going to we're going to talk about today, but I'm also going to have it posted. So, give me just a second. So, does anybody have any questions before we get started? So let me pull that up. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm going to post the handout in the chat. And let me open it up here. Okay, now what I usually do is if we were like in class or something, we'd have a computer in front of you. You'd be sitting down, I'd have this printed out. So of course you could see it and everything. <laughs> so you can see it, everything is printed out. There you go. All right, so. Let's talk about what we're going to cover this morning. We're going to talk about uh, uh, the shop uh, online safety. Know your online rights. We'll talk about scams, browser tabs product search and compare sites. We'll talk about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Oh, it's, thanks, it's Thanksgiving time, isn't it? Black Friday and Cyber Monday are coming up. Apps, online stores, gift ideas, coupon sites, daily deal sites, and retail apps. And one of the other things I'll be talking about too is there's some sites that you can actually, or I'll say apps, that one of the things you can do is you can get kind of like a, um, it's similar to, I guess we would say a kickback, but if you if you go through to their app, click the link, let's say uh, eBay for instance, uh, if you do the uh, Acorn app, 
uh, sign up for the Acorn app, go through their website. Um, you can click on, let's say, eBay, and then you can get 1%. Um, one per, it's not much, but if you use it a lot over time, it could accumulate to something. 1% back uh, from them. So anytime you make a purchase, let's say eBay, and we'll talk in the Uber Eats or something like that, you'll actually get a percentage back and it'll be listed on there. It won't actually give you cash back. It gives you credit back to uh, that service. So that's one of the things as well. So, you know, if you're doing stuff like uh, have a credit card that gives like cash back and then using, excuse me, having uh, cash back and then using this or something, every time you make a purchase, maybe you can figure it out to get 3% back or something. Well, that would be a really big plus. We'll talk about retailer apps as well. So well, before we get started, does anybody have any questions? <laughs> and I'll disappear, so... I won't be in the way. So I'll say bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> All right, so let's go right ahead. Let's talk about shop online safety, safely. <laughs> shop online safely. <laughs> Before you make a purchase online, is your computer ready? Okay, now we're going to talk about apps later. So right now we're talking about um, shopping with your computer. Big thing, of course, is to keep, let me check this out. Yeah. Big thing, of course, is to make sure that your browser and your Windows is up to date, okay, or your operating system is up to date. One of the big things is usually if we, st when we start our browser, it actually will update and uh, download the newest version of the browser, okay. And then, if you have an antivirus or malware protection software installed on your computer, remember Windows does come with one uh, already pre-installed, so you don't have to make you don't have to purchase Norton, or there are some, of course, some free ones online as well. In our basic um, internet class, we actually cover that, so just be aware of that. Uh, look for the address bar padlock symbol uh, when entering credit card information. Okay. So basically, you're looking, it may look a little bit different than this. You see like a little padlock here. You're looking for where it says HTTPS, okay? Just know that when you're making a purchase online through your web browser, that's what you want to make sure that you see. This means that that website is doing encryption between you and them so that any information that you give will be between, it's an all encrypted between you and the website, okay? Now here's just some tips, okay? A big one is to use a real credit card instead of a debit card, okay? Why do that? Because you can dispute fraudulent charges, so there'll be no out-of-the-pocket amount of cost. You can actually just dis dis um, dispute, <laughs> all I can think was distribute, but it's dispute. Uh, debit cards without uh, one of the things debit cards do is they take the money out immediately out of your checking account. It makes it harder to recover. So making a purchase with a debit card online is not recommended. And that kind of goes for stores and stuff too. Other thing that you can do is set a low credit limit specifically for your online purchases. Um, another thing is that I actually have uh, the app in, for the credit my credit card installed on my phone. So one of the things is, and I have it, uh, notifications set up. So anytime a purchase is made, I get like a nice little alert to let me know that it has a purchase has been made on the card. Okay. I actually had this where two years ago, uh, apparently somebody um, out of the state was apparently charging my card at different businesses. And that happened three times within about 15 minutes, which was kind of odd. But anyway, the uh, that's what they were doing. And I was able to call my credit card company immediately and let them know that I want to change. Um, I wanted to change my account. Uh, excuse me, if I wanted to, to, to list it as a fraudulent charge and they would send me a new card. Okay. So they actually thanked me for calling them. Okay. And said thank you for letting us know about this and I said sure <laughs> thank you for letting us know about this so early I'm like okay the other thing you can do is you can set 
your uh, credit limit to very, very low, okay? So basically what happens is if some that buy did get a hold of your number in some way, and of course the deal is that people will say, well, I would keep my, my number very safe, and then someone actually got a hold of it. Well, there is ways that they can actually guess what your credit card number is, so just realize that, okay? It may not be anything that you've done, it's just they've guessed a credit card number, had certain software try to try to generate a number, and then it worked on your card, so just realize that. Okay. Some banks do offer a one-time use card. I think Capital One has a separate app that you can download, and you can actually tell it to give you a temporary card number uh, to put in, and then that card number will, will basically expire after one day or something. And then there you go right there. You, you can, It's only been charged like to one thing online. Okay. Now another big one that folks may not really think about this too much is using the gift cards. Okay. So you can actually uh, get a Visa and MasterCard gift card at the store, American Express. Some of those do have a little bit of a charge though. It could be to $6 to put money on it. Good thing is you can recharge it every once in a while if you want to, uh, but it means that you can make purchases online, and when the money is up, the money is up <laughs> on that card, unless you add more money to it, and they charge to add money to it. But gift cards like Walmart gift cards, Target gift cards, Kroger, CVS, Walgreens, you know, all of those places, they actually have uh, all the a big kiosk, a bunch, a whole bunch of uh, gift cards out there. Uh, so a lot of someone says, hey, I want to make a purchase at Kohl's. And I went in the store and they recommended me to actually, they went to the store and they actually recommended me to, um, to um, you know, make a purchase online. And maybe I'm worried about that. Well, not to worry. You could get a Kohl's gift card and it doesn't cost anything. And then you can actually make a purchase online using that gift card. And uh, there you go right there. Okay. So think about some of these gift cards. You can get an eBay gift card, an Amazon gift card. So not only can you just like put $20 down, get the gift card, make a purchase online from these online stores. Don't have to worry about any credit card or anything like that. And there you go. And you can get the great discounts and stuff that we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Okay. A big thing, of course, is to check your statements often. Okay. Make sure you, you check them, look over them. You know at least once a month or so should be a little bit more than that with these apps that you can have on your phone or of course going to the website should make it pretty easy to check over your statement um, the one of the things is I'll tell this in uh, general we actually talk about this in the basic internet class sometimes when you purchase gas it's not really the same name of the store that you went and purchased gas from like uh, the wall do we have a uh, Walmart here and when you get the receipt back about buying gas let's say at Walmart it'll actually say something like Murphy USA so that may actually be the sub company or you may see something to the effect of the name of the credit card processing company okay so don't let that throw you because oh it was twenty dollars well I got gas two days ago yeah that's the right day and it says twenty dollars so yeah that works out All right, so lots of great information there. Let's talk about knowing our rights online, okay? The United States online purchases you make with a credit card are protected by the, uh, the Fair Credit Billing Act, which limits your responsibility for fraudulent or erroneous charges to $50, okay? Now, I've had a few charges. I've had friends, family had a few charges, and they haven't been charged the $50. Just realize that's what the law says. Most credit card companies won't charge you anything, okay? And we have a whole bunch of different charge, um, different information on here. Uh, Consumer.ftc.gov site. Lots of great information information from the Federal, uh, Federal Trade Commission. The readiness team, staying safe online, more information there, okay? All right, jump for me. All right, let's talk about some scams, okay? Uh, like Grandma said, 
If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Okay. Quid bids. <laughs> Pay to bid. Okay. So I'll pull that up real quick and I'll talk about that for a minute. Oh, it doesn't like the spelling of quid bids. That's not my spelling. That's the name of the company. <laughs> Uh, let me fix something. All right, so this is Quid Bids. This is the one that you see a whole bunch of different commercials for. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So basically, I even saw one of these uh, commercials for one of these last night. Basically, the idea is that you get 100 people in a room, and it's an auction site or bidding site, okay? And everybody pays a little bit of money to bid, okay? So it's a pay-per-bid site. So I won't really say it's a full-on scam, but I will say that if you, if you bid, you're paying to bid, and it can be up to, some of these sites can be up to 50 cents to bid, and the, uh, the countdown clock does not run out until someone actually, uh, if it, the bidding keeps going, then the uh, timer keeps going as well. So just realize one person may get a great deal and then you may be out some money at the end and haven't won anything, okay? So you'll see the commercial, some people promising they got an iPad for $10. Will that just mean that 100 or so other people walked away with nothing, okay? So hopefully that won't be you. So I don't recommend these sites, but just realize that's what they are, and that's what they do, okay? And I've even had one where, if you read the small print, it said, but they're happy to sell you the product at full retail price if you don't uh, win the auction minus whatever you were trying to bid on it, okay? It's like, oh, well, thanks. So they're happy to sell you that iPad for $800, the suggested retail price, okay? All right, so let's quit bids. Pay to bid site. All right, so be aware of high shipping rates, okay? So let's say you're on eBay, you're on a different site, you're about to buy something, and all of a sudden the, the I've had it where it was a low-priced item, but the shipping was like $15, $16, which was very, very strange. But it all worked out that it was still a cheaper item, okay? This is many, many years ago. And one of the things was I... Uh, purchased the item it was a cord for a computer and it did not work okay I'll tell you this the cord did not work I tested it with an ohm meter and everything and it just was not a valid cord okay so contacted the seller seller said if you pay to ship it back to me I'll refund you the money but I don't pay for shipping and handling so basically it would have cost me more to ship it back to him than even me getting my money back. So basically, I would have still wasted money. Um, so I just kind of said, oh, well, and uh, kind of went on down the road. So just be aware of high uh, shipping rates, okay? Now, there is a website, and we'll go to there. This is the Federal Trade Commission or FTC.gov website. Okay. This is their information about scam. So it will have uh, different parts on here. We're actually here to look at their, um, I guess you'd say, blog. They have information about phishing scams, the check scam, IRS scams, where people call you or pretend they're from the IRS. But if we scroll down here, it'll pop up here and start telling us about other scams that are, are available on here too, okay? Be part about a clinical trial, okay? Overpaid your utility bills. Let me see, how to spot, avoid and report imposter scams, threatening uh, phone scams or targeting parents and immigrants. Let's see, how to report fraud at FTC, I mean, report fraud at FTC.gov. Let's see. 
what I do if I were scammed, no fillers. So it's just this ongoing list of things, and you see it's updated, so we're seeing the date on here. Okay. So all kinds of stuff. So if you hear about something, and this is a good thing to spread information about with friends or family members saying, I heard about this or heard about that. In our area, we had, last year, two, two years ago, we had a lot of folks that were getting the IRS, fake IRS call. So that was a big one to let other people know. Hey, have you heard about this fake IRS call? Yeah, people calling you saying they're from the IRS and they want you to pay money right now. There's also one that we heard about was uh, the fake jury duty call where someone says, oh, you missed jury duty and you were supposed to show up this morning. You're in trouble. And then they, they don't ask for money. They say, now, now what's your full name? Now, what, what's your address and what's your social security number? And I'll talk to the judge and, and see if I can get this worked out because they were going to bring charges up on you and you're going to be in trouble and they're going to come arrest you and stuff. So just be aware of stuff like that. So scams are a good thing to spread, tell friends and family member about, okay? Big one is don't pay anybody with gift cards, okay? I just talked about gift cards. Don't pay an individual person with gift cards. So if you have a family member doing that, they could be getting scammed. All right, ways to avoid scams. The Better Business Bureau as well. When you check out, you're going to make a purchase at a website. You know, see if there's a PayPal way to pay or Google credit check, Google checkout way to pay instead of just using a credit card. So you will have a, an in-between, a go-between between you and uh, the business. Try to give out as little information as possible. A reputable online retailer would never need your social security number. Okay. You're not sure, contact the seller, ask the seller. If they want to do business, they maybe will have a way that you can contact them. I've even had one in the past where it was a, kind of a smaller business, but they had a 1-800 number and I called that and the person answered and it was about two, I wanted to know if the two pieces went together because I wasn't sure about like screw size and stuff. And it was like, yep, those two will work together worked just fine and then I was like okay well I'm gonna go ahead and make it purchase those two items and he said no uh, we we're just a helpline we don't take um, credit card numbers over the phone you need to go back to the website to purchase something and uh, hopefully I helped and you have a great day and that was it so it was literally just a ask questions helpline and there was no pressure to purchase anything so that was nice but have any questions call them up contact them ask a question Okay, if they're legitimate and they want to do business, they will want to talk to you so that you're doing business. All right, so let's talk about browser tabs. Browser tabs lets you have more than two windows open at a time. Now, the reason I talk about browser tabs is because in a little bit we'll be using uh, websites like Price Grabber and stuff and opening up uh, different websites to actually talk about and find different. Uh, priced items and you may use this the things like browser tabs to try to look for uh, coupon codes uh, for different things so do realize that you will definitely want more than one window open at a time so you can kind of flip back and forth when you're when you're shopping and stuff so kind of think about that if you're not familiar with the browser tabs all right so let's go ahead to one of our sites here let's see um Oh, there's even a Yahoo shopping. Interesting. Let me see. I do 
not actually use that one. We'll kind of play around with that a little bit. See how that compares to our kind of our Google one. Okay, so let me pull up. So basically this is Price Grabber, which is one of our uh, multi-sites that shows all kinds of different prices. Now the big thing is it's to compare prices. So if you're looking for one item, a model number on here, uh, let's go back to our handout for a second. So if we're looking for like a model number of a product, that's a great way to do it. So oh, we'll, we'll, we'll finish off talking about our, our tabs here. So if I go back here, you can see I can kind of switch back and forth. Okay. And if we want to close a tab, all you do is you go up here and hover where the X is and it'll say close. Okay. Alright, so I typed in this address here. And that's kind of how we use our browser tabs. Alright, let's talk about our product search. Now, let me see. I think the last um, time we did this class, they had not updated this. Let's look real quick. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So I will be talking about this this afternoon as well. So this is CNET's Holiday Gift Guide. Okay, so we talk about our Holiday Gift Guide. This is one of the things we'll be talking about. So it kind of talks about hot items under $50, gifts, um, gifts under $30, and all kinds of different prices. There's some advertising in here, so do realize that. Black Friday sales, all kinds of stuff. So let's click the one. Let's do gifts under uh, $50. So I know we'll look and see. So it kind of gives some suggestions here. So Roku, 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 excuse me. All right. So let's see if we can search that one up with our price grabber. Oh, they don't sell that one? Okay. Well, let's go back to our main area here. And I, let's see if this link has updated. Yeah, it has. Okay. So this is another great site. Let's see one thing. Give me one second. Uh, all right, so this is the Better Housekeeping, or Good Housekeeping, excuse me, Better Housekeeping. Good Housekeeping, they're talking about, they're kind of, oh, that's cute. That's really cute there. Kind of, they're kind of new ideas and stuff to search, things to search for, okay. Give you some neat ideas, maybe some unique gifts, okay. There you go, unique gifts right there, that's what I just said. There you go, all kinds of neat stuff. <laughs> That's funny. So you'll get some great ideas from sites like that. All right, so the other shopping sites, since we're gonna be doing talking about our product searching a little bit here. And we'll also be doing, in a second, We'll try a new one. This Yahoo one is interesting. So 
So this is shopping.yahoo.com. So this is going to be similar to the Google Shopping site. Okay. So you get an idea, you get a, an item that you're thinking about. Now the last time we did the class, we actually talked about our GoPro. So let's talk about a different product. Oh, hang on. Oh man. Uh, we could do our Fitbit. I think that would be good. Let's see if they have a new Fitbit. Yeah, Yahoo Shopping looks pretty good. It's popping up. Now, the big thing about this is to kind of know which model you're looking for. So the model we have on the handout is our Versa 2. So let's look at that. Here's Versa. And... light light coming up that's the that's the actual band for it okay there it is there's a new version okay so I thought so I figured this year they would come out with a newer one so let's add a three on there come out the bands the smartwatch let's see so that price is kind of staying the same with most of these places it's listing. If I click here, does it show? Yeah, there you go. So it's, compar it's comparing Best Buy, Kohl's. Let's see. And this is their smaller little products too. <laughs> discount on GNC all right so let's go ahead and let's go to our Google shopping change that to a three Ah, okay, so they're pretty much staying the same price. Versa 3. Let's see, the first Versa. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, it's kind of staying the same price, isn't it? Okay. So we don't have a huge amount of leg room on that item. So let's go ahead and let's see what other items we have on here. Now, I remember the Sega Mini was a big one that came out. Now, this one, if you search here, you're going to see different types of brands with the different flash drives, too. But let's just kind of jump in there. Let's try that out. So we should see a bunch of different brands with this. Hmm, it's not a bad price. There you go. <laughs> That's an interesting one. All right, so here we'll choose the cheap one is that just for Best Buy yeah apparently that's just for Best Buy so we go back here let's see Office Depot so they're just showing me Pacific flash drives they're not showing me a, like a whole bunch of the same ones on here let's see 
Seven dollar one would be hard to walk away from. Let's see. Okay, then you can search by brand as well. Okay, let's do sand disc. So these are all the same brand. It pops up as well. Oh, it's a dual one. That's interesting. So see, we're not seeing a huge amount of different price here. Okay, this is one of like one little small the cruiser ones. I've had one of those. I've had one of these too, and it kind of flips in and out. It's a little bit bigger than this one though in physical size. So a lot of different options there. You just kind of have to pick out which one that you're interested in. Let's see if these are still showing a similar price. Here, we'll try the um, Yahoo Shopper this time. Let's see. Oh, that's showing you stuff too. Oh, it's only showing Best Buy on the Yahoo one. Interesting. Let's see. And that is going for let's see. So that says 79 at Best Buy. And we've got 49 at GameStop. So there you go right there. That's a big that's a big uh, seller price right there. If I choose that product, it'll pop up. And then I can do where I say compare prices. So this one store actually has a price drop on it, and like Target. Let's see. And some of the rest of them have not dropped the price. So that's a big, big thing to know right there. So that's a big price savings right there. So someone's about to die for that product. Um, there you go. So playing around a little bit with the stuff. Oh, oh, another the second part here is I wanted you to know that even if you haven't heard of some of these companies before, one of the things you can look back at the feedback, okay? And there is, let's see if it shows it on this product. Yep, there it is right there. Now, of course, the price is very high, but let's say you, you scrolled through here and there were some companies that you'd never heard of, but they were having one that had a really good deal. You can actually look here and see what their feedback was. Now, I know this company, B and H Photo Video Audio. I've ordered stuff from them before, but they're usually just a, a catalog company. So they've been around for a long time. I would, wouldn't hesitate to buy something from them, but someone else may have never heard of that company before and you know, be skeptical. But as you see, a lot of positive ratings, lots of feedback has done lots of business, okay? So wouldn't hesitate to buy from that company just from even looking at the feedback there. And this actually has the highest feedback of anybody on here, which is interesting. But yeah, someone else may never heard of that. You may see a few companies in here that you haven't heard of. I definitely look at the feedback, positivity, you know, and keep yourself safe when you're buying something online as well. All right, some great recommended sites, of course, like Amazon.com, Tiger Direct, uh, Newegg, and of course, eBay and everything. And we'll talk about some of our deals that come up a little bit and websites like Overstock and stuff. And then we have our price grabbers here. Now, I think the last time, let's see. I think the last time I went to, the Shopzilla one, I couldn't find a few of the items that we were actually searching for. So if I actually did, here, I'll copy this here and see.
yeah, it's like they're they're a little bit different, okay? But they still pulled up the forty nine dollar. Okay. They actually found it on eBay, and excuse me, Amazon for forty nine. Interesting. Okay. So in just saying, instead of just saying uh, Best Buy, it pops up like that. Okay. Of course, it's on a lot of accessories and stuff as well. But different ones to try. There is, let's see, I think I've heard this one before. Let's see, biz rate is another one. That's very popular. I haven't used that one before. Let's see. Yeah, but Yahoo Shopping, that looks like a really good one now, too. Let's see, we've got this one here. Um, the only negative thing about some of these is they may be pushing you to products that they know that they may get like a percentage of or something, but you know, websites like, like uh, Google or the rest of them, they're not doing that. They're just basically just pushing you towards, um, you know, a list of websites, a list of products at different websites too. But yeah, the Google Shopping, the other ones on here that we talked about, the Yahoo one uh, looks pretty good too. All right, so checking out the use, definitely use the different comparison price shops. I think it was Price Grabber the last time I not not last time but the time before last Price Grabber was having some issues, but yeah, some so some recommended ones on there too. Now remember, eBay is you can bid on an item, okay, and if you win the item, you pay the money, you get the item, okay. They also have buy now and they also have daily deals, which we'll show that in a minute too. All right, so. Let's go ahead and let's talk about Black Friday and everything. Now, this year's Black Friday is, of course, on the 27th because uh, Thanksgiving is on the 26th. So, day after Thanksgiving now, a lot of the stores, because of, you know, it's having to stay home and everything, stay safe and stay home, they haven't had as many people shopping in their store. So they're really trying to basically make it Black Friday month. So do realize that a lot of them are already putting out products, um, not products, but putting out uh, prices that they're trying to say are similar to Black Friday. And we'll talk about looking at our Black Friday paper in a minute because we should be able to pull that up and then kind of flip through it a little bit. But the big thing is it kind of starts off the Christmas shopping, okay? Uh, remember a negative, uh, balance and uh, is red which is bad and black is good with accounting so it's Black Friday trying to be positive okay and let me make sure some of these websites it takes them a while till we get close enough to Black Friday for them to have all the sales and stuff Sale papers, I mean. Let's see. So basically, look, it's got some of them on here. So that's a good thing. And you kind of flip here. Scan through. See, here's like Walmart's Black Friday. Anything to look, make sure it does say 2020. Because I actually have made that mistake in the past and it was a black, it was the wrong year. <laughs> Ah, an Instapot for 50 bucks. There you go, right there. Fantastic product. If you don't have one of those, I fully recommend getting it. <laughs> hey, Jane, how are you? <laughs> Jane, welcome, welcome. Yes, 
Let's see. Jane said, my friend, and I was contacted by fake FedEx to pay shipping charges on a gift her friend was sending. She was embarrassed to tell the friend to pay to a fake FedEx. Ooh, that's terrible. And it came that day. She realized that the gift was not worth the fake charge. Ooh, that sounds, I have not heard that one. That's, a, that's interesting. So they contacted you to pay the shipping and handling. Yeah, that, that sounds really strange. Let's see. Pay the shipping charges on the gift her friend was sending. Huh. It doesn't sound much like a friend that if they would actually make you pay the shipping and handling. So, so I'm glad that you, that's a good one to bring up. Thank you for sharing. All right, so oh, and we'll talk about we'll talk about that um, this afternoon. Anyway, so do you realize this, and I, I will I will tell people this. Uh, sometimes in these sales papers, just realize that you know a sixty you know this forty two inch TV for eighty eight dollars uh, on is the Walmart brand. So do you realize that? The good part about knowing what the store brand is is there if something is wrong with the product they're more likely to accept it because it's their brand and you may get a, a good price on it i mostly would try to look and see if i can find some reviews on that model okay before you make a purchase of it but do realize that sometimes one thing that's going on is that a lot of the stores don't really get that many of these that are really really super deals okay they may not get uh, many of those. So when you see the sales papers and stuff like this, it may be that they only got, you know, 10 of those. And it should kind of get people in the store, show that they have a fantastic product. Do I think there'll be lines on Black Friday? <laughs> yes, I do. Um, a lot of the stores, I remember that last year I went to, I uh, did a Black Friday at a Best Buy and the interesting thing about that was everybody was lined up and everybody was given a number. So it wasn't like any pushing or shoving or anything like that. You already had a number. You could even, um, uh, you know, have, have people swap out if you wanted to. Uh, but the deal was just to get in the store and they had limited the amount of people that can be in the store at one time just to kind of hold back from it being too crazy or it being just, you know, open the doors and everybody runs in like crazy. So I assume trying everybody trying to stay safe and stuff, they'll be doing something similar this year. Of course, requiring face masks and everything. And then when uh, folks come in, it'll probably be very limited and, you know, kind of certain amount in, certain amount out at the same time. And uh, so do I think there'll still be a line? Do I still think that they're thinking people are going to come out? Yeah, I think they, they do. And they'll actually push them, you know, to get stuff as well. But yeah, so, you know, your sales price going on here. What is this one? Oh, they have like a new uh, top for the uh, Instapot, I believe. Or is it do, do something different? Let's look and see. Let's see. Oh, this is the air fryer. Ooh, it's Instapot. Now it's coming out with a Instapot and it's an air fryer. Interesting. That's interesting. All right, so basically you can look through here and uh we'll talk about our the apps and stuff one of the best apps to view all this stuff is actually the flip app which we're going to talk about that in just a minute okay but looking through the sales papers the different websites kind of making a plan what what you think is important see if they're actually going to have that deal online this year which would probably be best and if we go back to the home page, you can see there's many different sales papers on here. Okay. And this is uh, blackfriday.com. Okay. I, you don't have to sign up with your email to give to, to for anything with them. Okay. All right. So there's also our Retail Me Not. Let's see if that's active yet.
All right. So this is retailmenot.com. Uh, in a little bit, we'll talk about getting our uh, uh, discounts and stuff, checking out Retail Me. But this is kind of their their sale prices. Let's see. Ooh, 50% off. So this is some of their coupons and deals they have. I will tell you this. Do all of these coupons work? Maybe not all of them. It all depends. Let's see. Ooh, Instapot. Let's check that out. Yeah, Amazon, it's a hundred bucks. See, Best Buy is a hundred bucks. Kohl's a hundred thirty. This oh no, it's a seven. Interesting. So that is not a good deal. Let's see. Find other products on there. Let's see. KitchenAid. All kinds of stuff, but that's the one they're kind of focused in on, it says. They're Black Friday steals. All right, so, and we did the uh, CNET gift guide already, okay? Now, let's talk about Cyber Monday. What's supposed to happen on Cyber Monday is when the online retailers put out their really good prices, but we're starting to have kind of a blend going on, and this year, we'll see. Everything may be a little bit different. Okay, so I would, you know, I'd expect everything to be kind of, um, they're trying to get everything. I, I could see them putting out their best deals, and if those sell out, then they'll try to get some other best deals as well. So we will see what they're, they're planning on doing. So let's go ahead and let's talk about Cyber Monday a little bit. So if you go to certain websites, we'll say Amazon. So if we go to Amazon.com website, one of the big ones is uh, here's holiday deals right here. And usually I see something that says daily deals. I guess they've gone to holiday deals. So if I click holiday deals, that will pop up and it's loading. So if we scroll down here, it's got all kinds of stuff in different sections. Okay. And a lot of these things, there you go, Epic Daily Deal, they're actually, it'll come up and we'll have a timer on it uh, that you have to buy it before a certain time, okay? So, let's see, it's like a pot. Oh, here's the Instapot. Maybe we were looking at the one that was like the fryer. I mean, so this is six. I mean, is this, oh, what size is this? Well, let's click it and see. This is a three quart. Ooh, that's a small one. That's a little baby one. I don't know if I'd recommend anything smaller than that. Well, where'd it go? Oh, and it reloaded. It moved this around. Sorry, that's a little jarring. All right. Here you go. The good, the good old six quart. There you go. Uh, one big thing is they're supposed to be having a different lid on the top of it, uh, just so that the the older one you could quit. You could accidentally have it open and it would kind of dry stuff out I never had that problem but then I talked to someone that said they accidentally did that and it it dried their soup out they thought it was cooking and it didn't do it because they left the lid basically open but anyway so that's a good deal ah, I guess this is the new one that's expensive that's a huge one it's the eight quart eight quart feels too big sometimes Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Instapot 7. Is this the Fryer 2? Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
See, they have a new lid. It even says new lid on it. How about that? New lid. Let's see. Ah, this one they're going to give you an extra silicone ring for it. Cool. That's a pretty good deal. I don't know what the difference between that one is and the one that we looked at a minute ago. But maybe it's just a newer lid. Okay. Anyway, you just kind of have to look and see which ones, you know, th products that you're interested in, see what kind of sales things that they have going on, of course. But that's the, uh, that's the deals, the Amazon deals. Okay. All right. So let's talk about our apps. Okay. This is one, it, 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 it works well. I'll say that. I used to have one called Laser. It was uh, Red Laser is what it was called. It worked better than this one, <laughs> but that this is uh, this this is the closest one to that. I will say that. Okay, so this is the closest one uh, to this. And oh good, I can show I'll add that in there. And hit save. Okay, so basically what the idea is that you pull this app out here at a store, pull the app out, and you basically can scan the barcode on an item and it'll basically search it for you. So the idea is now, of course, you can have the Walmart app, you can have the eBay app, the Amazon app, which are all great to scan barcodes, but that's just for that specific stuff. I tell you, the, the Target and the Walmart one are fantastic. You're in the store going, well, I don't know how much this actually is. Well, pull your app out and scan it, okay? Sometimes, especially with the holidays, they'll get things mixed up and it's on the wrong shelf. And I have, you know, had the disappointment of taking something up to the store, the, the front, and then the person's like, well, that's not the price of that. It was like, well, it was near the sign that said, you know, $20. I like, know that's a $40 item. It's like, oh, man. And then you go back and you look at the, the, the description really well, and it was the wrong item listed. So uh, stop that confusion. Have an app on your smartphone, okay? Barcode scan it for the store, and then you'll immediately know what the price is in the store. So this helps you do the price uh that's outside the store so not only can you search with the item there but it also searches you know online as well okay so you you barcode scan something it'll pop up and it'll talk about nearby stores to you uh how much that item is and it's also talking about some um other things as well okay this is going into just the telling us different products they recommend. Um, but uh, if I can show the, okay. So Shop Savvy, Barcode Scanner. Oh, they've actually actually updated something. So you basically scan, I was hoping it was gonna show me a picture. Anyway, you basically scan the barcode and then it'll come up and give you like live comparisons and everything. So it kind of is doing that, okay. All right, so that's a big one to have, you know, in your pocket, I guess you could say. Looks like they just updated their logo. So the Amazon, I just mentioned that a second ago. Fantastic app to have. Not sure about something, scan it. See if the Amazon has a better price. Maybe you have Amazon Prime. So getting something shipped two days is no big deal at a lower cost or something. Um, the, uh, the big thing about this is not only will it scan barcodes, but it also will scan the full product online as well. So if you if the barcode scan didn't work, you can actually hold the item up and try to scan it with the Amazon and it'll actually try to match the image up with a, a product as well. The eBay one, uh, the biggest thing for this, of course, is that it's going to show, I don't use this one as much. Uh, because you know eBay you may click on something and it's like oh well 
this person's selling it for a dollar on eBay. Wow. And then you actually look at it. Of course, it's not really a dollar. That's how that's where the auction starts and the auction won't be up for another week. You know, and you're like, oh man, I wanted to see about the product now, but if you really want to wait, might get a really good deal on it. But you may want to tell it to search and give you the um, buy now price. Okay. So instead of you having to wait till a um, uh, other parts over, like a bidding is over or something. <laughs> Jane, you want to get an air fryer? That would be interesting. I think we can look and see. There's a few other places we're going to be looking around here. We can look into that. I have to remember how to spell air fryer. Does it have the Y in it? Eh. There's why you are. There you go. Uh, the biggest, I would say, the biggest thing is with the Black Friday sales, is to definitely look into that. So if we, whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Here we go. All right. So if we went back to our Black Friday sales. I don't think I can just search a product here, but we will see. Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's see. Instapot Vortex 10 quart. Wow, that's big. Plus air fryer. That must be like a little oven. Okay, well, here's the Instapot. Oh, I saw 80 bucks and it jumped to 129. You can buy this Black Friday item online at a lower price. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so we have, uh, let's see, so tomorrow, no, hang on, that's tonight. Yeah, tonight at 7. Apparently you can get this at a lower price tonight at 7. For 80 instead of the other price. But it's an Instapot, looks like they had some others on there. Excel Vortex. It depends on your price range. It also depends if you want something that's a multi uh, tool as well. Here's a, that looks like a smaller thing. New Wave. But anyway, so yeah, that's one. If you're looking for something that's Instapot 2. It has a mushroom kind of looking top, doesn't it? Oh, I guess you change out the lid. So this must be, whoop, this must be the pressure cook lid, and this must be the uh, air fryer lid, okay? I guess, I'm guessing here. But yeah, so look, this is from Walmart. This is apparently the Walmart's gonna have a sale here starting tonight at seven o'clock so it depends on which one you're looking for but the black friday website has done a really good job here pulling it right up okay so i will copy that and paste that into the chat and hopefully that'll be helpful all right, so let's keep going here. We talked about our eBay. Flip is a fantastic app, and I think last time I was able to find, quit that. I think I was able to actually find the website 
the flip. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. There you go. Perfect. All right, so what does flip do? Well, flip is kind of like having all the sales papers in your pocket, okay? So not only can you see, you know, the sales papers, but you can also tap them, add them. It's completely free to use. Oh, this is, this is great. It's like interactive. You can see all the sales papers. This works for Black Friday as well. You can do a search for items, but the good part about it is once you see the sales papers, you can actually tap the sales papers and it'll actually add those to your shopping list. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Now it's starting to support digital coupons as well, which we're going to talk more about digital coupons and stuff. And it also will show hot deals also. But the biggest thing for me is to look at the sales papers and they usually have a Black Friday section and you can just tap and it'll kind of keep kind of like little bookmarks. So you can tap like grapes and it'll add the grapes to your shopping list, you see. So lots of great stuff, lots of great, it's a great idea putting all the papers together. So, and it's completely free to use too. Oh, we have a video. This is Emily. She's a smart shopper and spends time looking for the best deals, but collecting deals from different sources can be a tedious task. Oh. With the Flip app, Emily can browse circulars and coupons from all her favorite stores or simply search for products she needs on sale. She now saves tons of money on her weekly shopping. No one shops smarter than Emily. Find it on sale, find it on Flip. Okay, well, there you go. It didn't really show us the app much, which was what I was kind of hoping they would do, but it's just a commercial to get people interested. Okay. Used it for a long time now. I really recommend it. It's really, really useful and it's completely free too. All right. So let's go ahead to our next section. Let's talk about our digital coupons. Now we talked about Retail Me Not a little bit, and I'll tell you a little bit my story. So I was making a purchase online and when I was about to check out it actually had a little box on the website and it said do you have a coupon and I went oh no I don't but I didn't know your website took coupons so I will spend five minutes to go see if I can find one and actually went to retail me not the first the first time um, the first uh, coupon I got from here it was like a, uh, uh, I think it was like something like 15% off coupon. And I tried that one, put it into the, where it said, put your coupon here. And it said, uh, that promotion has expired. Now it won't, doesn't matter. Won't be mad at you. You can try as many coupons as you want when you're about to check out like that. And then I tried another one. It said something like 12% off. And I tried that one and boom, it worked. And I probably saved myself a good bit of money um, just by going, huh, I didn't know y'all took coupon sites, coupon uh, code. So I'll look and see if I can find one. So this is a retailmenot.com. This is one where a lot of folks will just come in here and say, okay, I'm looking for a free shipping or something. And then type that in. Lots of businesses on here. Now, I will tell you this, how does the coupon work? Well, uh, businesses put out coupons to basically to try to get uh, not just sales, but to maybe even change someone's um, buying habits is really the big one, okay? So they put out something, they're looking to, uh, you know, not only get you to try their company, try their product, try their website, you know, buy something from them, but they're also trying to change your habits a little bit too. So that they think, hey, we give out uh, free shipping for, you know, a thousand people. And then, uh, you know, after we do all that, even if they other people find where we had a free shipping coupon, 
they might think the product's so great that even if it don't have the free shipping, they still you know want to purchase it too. So it all depends. So as you see, 25% off, you know, so do all these codes work? I will not tell you that all these codes work because a lot of the times the codes don't work, okay? You just have to try again, okay? A lot of these are submitted by users. You click on here. Now this is actually taking me to the subway. So it actually is a promotion from that company. So yeah, that'll, that'll definitely work there. But if you see these other ones, let's see, uh, crate and barrel. We don't even have a crate and barrel around here. Uh, there's like a, you'll see commercials for Wayfair a lot. There's like a code here, 25% off $200, off $200. Well, okay. Okay. I guess that's like a service that they're having. But anyway, you can just go in here, type in up here, type in the business and free shit and type in free shipping. And usually you can find a code uh, for whatever the business is. Okay. Uh, pretty easily. There you go. Free shipping for $35 and up uh, from Target. Okay. Oh, don't need a code. It just kind of lets you in. So anyway, so that's kind of retail me not. So spending five minutes might save you some money. Might get you free shipping. Okay. What about coupons.com? Uh, and I believe coupons.com now actually has an app too. One thing about coupons.com is they, they do want to have your your um, your phone uh, number so they can text you. There you go. I just mentioned that. I just said I think they have an app. There you go. So they're really big on texting you stuff. You may or may not like that. But you can download the app and try it out. There's a lot of people that really like them. One of their big things is printable coupons is to focus on that. So these are more focused on retail specific coupons um, not retail but the um, the company that makes the product I'll think of the name of that in just a second the company that makes the product uh, coupons that are out there and uh, you get a you know from the company there's a dollar off Listerine right there let's see oh I, I guess you can see that this is more uh, focused on well, there's Arby's this is a little bit more focused on uh, you know grocery stores and stuff let's see small coke float for a dollar let's check that out all right so there's a print and then you would go into your print and usually they want me to give them it's loading Usually they want me to give them a cell phone number is what they want, and then they'll text you. But I think with the app, it may not have to do that part. It probably will have to want your number too, but you won't have to print it. I assume it'll be right on the phone. Wish they had a video I could show or something. Let's see. You get 250 back with holy guacamole from and is sitting your PayPal honey there's no balance you have to hit to get the cash back okay I'll have to look into that that sounds interesting save where you shop love target her offers are good there prefer Costco there's two wherever you shop from the Whole Foods to Use your cash back, earn money. Interesting. Okay, that'd be something to just have to look into. Some kind of cash back deal that they have going on. Why do I need to verify my phone number? Account, just enter phone number. Text your verification code. 
Okay, so they're doing kind of a cash back, like a Rakuten kind of thing. Okay, so I'll have to look into that. Now, let's talk about some of our daily deals, okay? So these are sites that it will actually, let's, especially if you're traveling, maybe going to a new city, uh, maybe you're just going, oh, I wonder if something you know fun is going on. I know that a big one that used to be around here was, uh, you know, during December uh, time frame, they basically would, we would get the, oh, I didn't mean to close that. We would get the uh, ice skating rink in the, at the Columbia County, um, the Lady A. And if we go to uh, here, usually any kind of big thing that's coming to a city or, or something, usually they give some kind of discounts on it. Some things are just fitness based. You have to kind of judge on some of that. Of course, we're not having a ton of events going around right now. A lot of the deals is uh, these can actually kind of overlap. Okay. Usually what happens is these are time sensitive. Okay. So basically you get a, uh, a, um, a ticket, a, a, a gift card or something. There you go. A gift card or something. And then if you don't use it between that, that amount of time, then the gift card expires. Uh, so basically it's like paying $10 for a $20 gift card. And if you don't use it at the time, supposedly the, the business is still supposed to, even if that time runs out, the business is still supposed to give you the, let's say the $10 back in a product. So you're really not out anything. You just may lose that big discount that they're selling. <laughs> There's the big Titanic. So all kinds of stuff, canvas on sale, kind of selling masks, let's see, flowers. The Acorn restaurant in Harlem's really good. Here's a coupon. Bouquet stuff. But they're having some extra sell on, on sale stuff today. So a lot of really good interesting things, okay? So you just kind of have to go here and they will kind of overlap. You kind of notice that. But I guess some businesses are like, well, I signed up for one, we'll sign up for the other one as well. But again, you can go up here to the top. You can type in your zip code that you're in and the deals will change other than the ones that are kind of like online uh, deals and stuff, okay? Local places. It's interesting, give you some good ideas, fun stuff to do, okay? Now we did already kind of look at the Amazon daily deals. I'm kind of jumping to here, telling about our gas buddy here for a second. Gas buddy uh, will tell you uh, the cheapest place to get gas around you. Uh, they have an app now, I believe too. And they're starting to get talk. They're starting to have some kind of kickback system as well with different businesses. So you may want to look into that. But the main thing about this this uh, is basically you basically give it. Let's say let's say we'll do that. We'll do it right here. Search Broad City. We'll say. Oh, I'll, I'll give it our zip code. Where's our zip code on there? We go. So zip code pops up. Oh, we're talking about the shell. Now some of these you may have to do some kind of club with it to get that price. Murphy USA is the Walmart gas station. Okay. There's the Kroger gas. So if you do get some kind of points back, you know, definitely go for it. So mostly shells have a really good deal in this in our area. Okay. That's kind of gas buddy. All right, so let's talk about retail coupons, okay? A big one is for grocery shopping, is Kroger. 
And I'll tell you kind of the best thing I recommend with Kroger. Uh, you'll see that, let me see if I can find their sales paper. This is a weekly ad, there we go. So basically, usually their weekly ad, you can go to that and it'll list all kinds of great deals and it also will list uh, digital deals as well. And let's see. They'll want you to sign up, you know, it's their card. Once you sign up, you know, get a free account with them. And you can add stuff on here. Let's see, where's our digital deals? Let's see. I don't see it, but I know it's on here somewhere because they usually talk about digital deals. Anyway, so the big thing with digital deals is there it is. There it is right there. So there's our digital deals. So let's say you go into the store, okay? And you're walking around, and what they'll do is they usually, wherever the digital deal is, they'll actually put like a little sign that says, this is a digital deal, and we'll actually give the price on there, okay? Well, the big thing about the price is you have to have added uh, the digital deal to like your, you know, your account using the website or using the app, okay? The easiest thing to do is to have the Kroger app on your phone, have, of course, have it logged into that free account that you get, and then when you're in the store, when the sign says digital deal, I'll actually have the item in my hand. Instead of having to stand there and search for something, and I don't really want to do that, I'll just actually just barcode scan the item. Usually it'll pop up and say, hey, did you know that this item has a digital deal here in the store? And you go, yes. And you say, "Would you want to? do you want to add the digital deal to your account? And I'm like, yes. So all I have to do is that. So that's my little bit of a trick with the digital deal. And it can save you time not having to look uh, for the digital deal in the sales paper. But then you get um, you know, the same benefit of it if you're walking around the store and stuff. So there's your digital deal kind of uh, you know, hint or tip from me. Okay. So or you can just search the app and then do it that way. But the barcode scanning thing makes it pretty quick, okay? All right, so adding coupons to your account because they have online coupons on here as well. There's our digital coupons. It has them listed and then you can add them, you know, to your to your um, setting there. Well, that's not a bad deal. That's like 50 cents right there. Oh, 20 bucks. There you go. They're going to sell a Instapot as well. Everybody loves Instapot. Don't have one, you need to get one. Trust me. They're great. It's Pringles. So there's a lot of savings here. And again, why do they put out coupons? Well, they want you to try something new. They want to try something maybe you didn't try before. They maybe even want to change the way that you have... Um, you know, shopped in the past. And maybe it's a premium item that when it when it comes the sales goes down, you go, that was worth the extra, you know, whatever it is to get that, even though that, that was a premium uh, product, I'm willing to pay that to when it goes back to normal price. All right, so we talked about that. We also talked about um, let's talk about Target for a minute here. Because we kind of already talked about Walmart. So here's Target and it's loading. Talking about their Black Friday deals and stuff. Let's see, deals. Here's our weekly ad clearance, top deals. Kitchen deals. Toys, toys, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think I clicked on top deals. Let's see. Hundreds of deals here. 
suggestions. This is kind of their card system, the circle. You can add it to your um, coupons. So this is Target's digital coupons. Twenty percent off. All right, Walgreens also has a great um, program I've heard as well for digital coupons. All right, now let's talk about some more of our deal alerts, points, and coupon apps. Okay, so McDonald's app, and I should be able to show that. See if it'll show the app on here. Okay. So this time about the mobile pay, drive through, and all that, curbside ordering on the app, payment pickup. Okay. Anyway, I was hoping to get a screenshot on there, but they do do rewards as well. Anyway, the big thing about McDonald's is they kind of will fr throw food at you a lot. A lot of great discounts on there. If you're going to McDonald's like ever, make sure you look at your app um, to see if you have any deals on there. The app also allows you to uh, do the curbside pickup where you basically just pull up into the... Um, so let's say they're really busy. And uh, one big benefit to this is if you make an order, you can actually, it automatically will save your order. You can actually just pull up to the curbside and click um, reorder and it'll reorder it. Tell it which um, parking space you're in and they'll bring the food right out to you. Okay. Um, so they also have free fry Friday and also all kinds of deals and coupons are constantly going on. Uh, so check in that. Now, the Chick-fil-A, uh, I believe it's called One, or they, I'm trying to remember if they had changed. No, it's called Chick-fil-A One. They actually have curbside pickup as well. They will throw a lot, of, a lot of food at you. Also, basically, it's a point system. It almost to the point that you go, you shop there a few times, and then the next time you come back you will be getting something um, for free okay and it just kind of culminates with um, adding the points and all this basically you just go there and anytime that you order anything or you can order through the app as well but make sure to scan the the barcode uh, that's on your app and then you will receive free food I guarantee it okay so do realize that you may be missing out on um, you know free food just because you're not pulling your app out and letting them scan it okay Moe's has a great points program as well now Walmart used to have a big deal about um, price matching but they're not really doing it that way anymore and they're actually doing something if you actually have to have their card uh, to make a payment and I believe if you do decide to do that let's see they have where is it on here anyway that's talking about other stuff that's on there too but they used to have a price match if you pay through the app, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can find that real quick. These services, gift cards, we can add idea. Anyway, they had a great program. I'm not sure if they're doing something similar to that now. But used to, if you paid through the through their app, they would do something to that. But I don't see that where that's written down now. Anyway, so just have to kind of figure that one out. 
Dollar General also has some great coupon deals. So if you're not doing, if you're shopping at any of these stores, you know, just, you know, usual, say, no, I'm, I shop at these stores, and you're not doing the points programs, then you are missing out, okay? So Dollar General has a, what I've heard is a great program as well, okay? I don't shop there on a regular basis, but lots of points, lots of things getting back. Uh, CVS does, but mostly they're trying to focus on printing out the, the coupons that you can receive uh, basically on your receipt, good or bad. Okay. Some people say bad because it tears easy and it gets lost versus an actual sales paper with all those on there. But they're specifically geared towards you. Um, so... But yeah, you can get a lot of deals on there. There you go. Buy two, get one free tombstones. Pizza. Reza blades, all kinds of stuff. So this may be a good idea. So again, if you're shopping at any of these places and not using their programs, then uh, you should. Okay. All right. So we're basically getting down to wrapping up class here. So I'll go ahead and see if there's any other final questions. So like I said, I've got this, um, you know, the handout is in the chat so you can download it and everything. So the main thing is you can find some really good deals. Just kind of be aware, you know, about what kind of programs they have. You know, there's even, if you if you go to the, the one of some of these stores just a few times, you know, every few months or whatever, it still might be a good idea to have the app or even have something signed up on there. Some of these deals, they, they actually do want to give out. They want you to know that they have really great deals. So do realize that. And uh, what was it? The Walmart one that talked about at 7 o'clock tonight. They're going to let us know about a great deal. Amazon does that too. Uh, I was once shopping for something on the Amazon store and it popped up at the bottom. It said, uh, this is part of our deals. And I clicked it and it was like three days later, it was basically this, this electronic thing and it was going to be half price, which was a really big savings. And it was like, wow, I just got to wait three days and it's going to be on sale for, um, you know, six hours or something, whatever the time frame was. So that was a huge benefit. So a big one is to kind of um, stay in the loop, check out the Black Friday sales papers, look for something that you're interested in. Do you realize if you do try to do the Black Friday thing in person, they may only have so many of those. Of course, it was talking about maybe you could purchase it online as well. We'll see how that goes. Maybe they're kind of focused more on that this year, but you can still get some uh, big savings because they, they, they sometimes hold stuff back all through the year to, to, to ideas to, to make a really good um, cheap not cheap but really do a really big sale here near the end of the year okay for gifts and products and all kinds of stuff so we have covered a lot this afternoon we also co covered about our uh, safety keeping us safe and everything so so thank you for joining me today <laughs> hope you enjoyed the class and and uh, get out there and do some savings as well. The big thing about it too is I like the idea of getting um, uh, learning more information about the product, the model, finding out exactly what product that you're looking for, what product someone wants. Okay, looking at reviews. I think it's better to be an educated consumer and being educated on what you want to buy, what you want to do, and um, you know what price you're willing to pay for something as well. Of course. All right, so I'll kind of feed into some of our talking about some other classes that we have coming up. 
So can join me this afternoon. We're going to be doing our holiday gift and gadget ideas. Okay, so we've talked about uh, ways to save money. Okay, shopping, Black Friday, and now we'll talk about holiday gadget and gift ideas, things that are coming up for the holidays to keep an eye out for, maybe in those Black Friday uh, sales papers and Cyber Monday, you know, websites and stuff. It makes kind of a good idea for friends and family members. And we might be getting more into the the time of we're actually buying stuff online and then shipping it to friends or family's houses instead of it coming from us. And that could just be for safety reasons. Okay. So, uh, when then Thursday, we're actually going to be doing tomorrow morning. Come join me for doing a Raspberry Pi uh, project live with me. I'll be tinkering with my Raspberry Pi, working on the project. And then in the afternoon, we're going to be doing app swap. Okay. So, excuse me, uh, excuse me, <laughs> tomorrow afternoon we'll be doing internet safety and security. So come join me for our other fun classes that we have coming up and also our Thanksgiving Day uh, theme stuff, our scratch, let's make a, a turkey feather catch game and also let's draw and animate a turkey, kind of like making a turkey car. Come join me for that. So. Our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details, or of course you can call into the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, we're having a subscribe drive, so please hit like on this video and click the subscribe button. And if we get 100 subscribers, we'll get our own uh, customized YouTube address, okay? Also, or you can include search YouTube for GCHRL videos, and it'll pop right up. Well, okay. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope to see you this afternoon. Uh, make sure to stay safe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you.